What's up you guys and welcome back to That Chick Angel TV. It's me Angel and this video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Y'all already know Valentine's Day is right around the corner and this is the time to be loving on yourself as well as the special person in your life. And the reason why I think Ana Luisa is the company for you is because of so many reasons. One, they are a sustainable carbon neutral company. They use recycled metals and they make sure they show respect to not only the earth, but the people who make their jewelry. And they make sure they uh, offset all of their production. So they are a truly carbon neutral company. That is just amazing to me. The fact that they care not only about their product, but the environment at the same time is chef's kiss. Also, they don't waste. By making small batches of jewelry, there's less waste, but they upload new designs every Friday. So there's always something fresh, something cute, something that you or someone you love will just die for. I especially love Ana Luisa because the price is right. You can get these beautiful pieces for a very inexpensive price. This is a luxury brand where you're not having to pay luxury prices. And the jewelry is just handcrafted so beautifully. I uh, got two new rings. Actually, most of my rings are Ana Luisa rings because I love them so much. I got a smaller version of a ring that I already have that I'm obsessed with. So I said, oh, get the smaller version too. And I also got this beautiful braided ring. It's just so posh. I love it. And then look at this bracelet. It is so heavy duty. It's so gorgeous. And it just, mm, it screams fashion. It screams Valentine's Day. So you guys, get you something from Ana Luisa. They're having a BOGO sale right now. Buy one, get one 40% off. Yes, that you heard what I said. Buy one, get one 40% off. Make sure you get it before Valentine's Day so that you can give something that your significant other will love or that you will love. So click on the link in my description box. And again, go ahead, shop now before Valentine's Day so that you can get the BOGO Buy one, get one 40% off. Anna Louisa. Thanks, guys. On to the vlog. Chick Angel. So what's good fam? Been a little busy this morning, it's Sunday. Um, I'm back at it. I took a little bit of a hiatus. So I'm back at it and that is installing ceiling fans and fixtures. Y'all hear Amar, he's losing his mind because he's being a jerk this morning. Uh, but we got, you probably can't see it. We just put these, uh, let me if I get over here. Uh, can you see it now, kinda? A little bit. Anyway, these are gray curtains we just put up. Uh, looks a little bit of an improvement on the look. Yeah, you can see it like that. Uh, no, you can't. There it is. Cause the light's blinding, y'all. Anyway, they go almost to the. They almost go to the floor. They like an inch above the floor, and then I'm about to swap out. Excuse all this mess, this is the leftover room. About to put this ceiling fan up. Um, right there. And then I got another ceiling fan to put up in there. And then I got more um, recess lights. I'm gonna try to do all that today. Like I said, I took a little bit of a break because I got sick and tired of telling y'all about ceiling fans and lights and I got sick and tired of putting them up. I already pulled out the existing ones that can so i'm gonna have to disassemble that bad boy disassemble that bad boy and then put in the new age uh recess lights and then i don't know what's gonna go on with that one it's definitely not staying but i don't know what i'm gonna put up instead um yeah and i got that ceiling fan to put up i got a light fixture up here that is gonna go in the office show y'all that real quick too this is half the workout going up and down these dang steps he been on one this morning. He woke up in an okay mood and then he just started acting silly. 
Angel's family at my level. You, she like, bro, be patient with him. And she's like, all right, Amar. Um, this ceiling fan, it looks neat. I mean, ceiling fan. This light, it looks neat, but it's not. Actually, it's okay. It's gonna go down in our office, but it's awful because it shines a uh, glare. Like you can see it right there in the in the uh, TV, and it's awful for that. Y'all saw our posters, didn't you? Um. Anyway, so I'm gonna take take that, swap out that ceiling fan, because we have another one right there that's gonna go in. Swap it like that. I don't know if I'm gonna do all that today, but all this other stuff. The first stuff I showed y'all thing I'm gonna do, but right now I'm gonna eat some breakfast. What's up, you guys? I went and got y'all early this morning, and it is now after five, and I'm just now picking y'all up. But I am on my way out to the garage to do a spin class, because I have not worked out today. It's Sunday. Hope you're having a less than marvelous and prosperous Sunday. Gonna get on this bike do a 30 minute class you know not doing anything too crazy still healing uh but yeah today has been a low-key day marcus has been installing all of the fans and stuff and i've been piddling around cleaning up stuff i'm sure mars about to come out here and i don't want him to but i ain't gonna be able to stop okay kai what's today um the last day of what holiday is it? Whose holiday is it? Martin Luther King Jr. Day, good job. I was just guessing. Now, what is that? So I saw that on my iPad. Mm hmm What did Martin Luther King do? She, he, 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 he made stuff even. So I think white. I think um, the um, black people mm -hmm. agreed. So he made it. He worked to help with equality so that people of every color could be treated the same. Yeah. Yep. Good job. But when they had brown people. Black and brown people always. We're always. Sometimes we call ourselves brown. Sometimes we call ourselves black. Sometimes black. Tino community, the people who speak oh. Spanish, they call themselves brown. Okay, but um, so. What's going on with you? So, um, nothing. He's becoming a real good videographer. I'm gonna have to put him on payroll. He shot some of my footage for a brand deal. It was very smooth, and you dressed the area very nicely. Good job. Hold on before you start. Um, so I didn't realize that a rug I bought for this living room came in. I'm so super excited. You saying that? You in a good mood. You like what daddy cooked you. Daddy made the, look at how thick this sandwich is. This, that's how this man cooks for these kids. Like they are going off to war. Yeah, they eat like it. I'm about to, oh, my phone's ringing. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks What's like. good fam? It is Tuesday. Um, on my way to meet up with Angel, Kevin, Melissa. We're gonna film Bald and the Beautiful. Um, and then later on today, I'm actually going to film uh, Damn Internet You Scary What To Hear. Uh, I know the kids got an early day today, so you gotta keep remembering that. These little silly early days and stuff they be having is, it gets confusing. Um, and it's easy to forget that your child is waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I'll probably go pick up Marcus and leave uh, the twins to Angel depending on how our schedule works out but anyway fam uh, yeah about to go do that I would like to get something to eat I haven't eaten all morning I planned on working out but between getting Amar to daycare and then having to meet them uh, at the latter end of the morning I didn't get a chance to do that that is beautiful I wish I could show y'all that the sun rays poking through these clouds um, anyhow on my way to meet up with them, film that, get the rest of the day kicked off. I'll be back at y'all, fam. You cold? Hold on, stop. Hold on.
Why isn't that zipping, Kai? What are we working with? Zip in your backpack. Oh, good morning. I'm having a lot of a smooth start as I would like. But it could be far worse. We are leaving five minutes behind the schedule. But that's better than how far behind the schedule we were yesterday. So we're getting better. There we go. I was gonna say, what am I like? Not cutting on. Everybody buckle up. We are doing our morning drop-offs early this a.m. Oh, it hurt my back. We tried to leave the house by 6.25 to get the twins to their bus stop before 7 o'clock. Their bus usually arrives by 7, pulls off by 7.05. So, our goal is to be there by like 7.55. We haven't done that in the past few days. So, fingers crossed, today is a good day. Good morning. God bless you. All right. So, I'm in a Walgreens because, oh, there we go. I need to finish my vision board. I'm doing it in a connection with, um, what is it called? Uh, me. With Skillshare. I'm taking a Skillshare class on vision boards. And I don't have any magazines, so. Shopping in, getting some different magazines. I thought they would have more. They don't. Well, they probably have some up front. So I'm gonna grab some back here that seem like they would make sense. And then go up front, see what they have, and then drop Marcus off at his school. So, let's see. I like this one. Organizing basics. I have, I think, two Essence magazines at home. Because, you know, I like black imagery. What else do I want? Maybe there's this in style. Maybe Time magazine. Hold on. Um, this is just a direction not as strong as I was hoping it would be. So let's, let's just, beggars can't be cheeses, right? So we have organizing one, yoga, healthy living. Let's get one, yeah, about travel maybe. Instead of, most of these are like very, eat better. <laughs> This one is about cruises, but I'm not really trying to cruise right now, to be honest. Uh, Stress-free home. Let's see, install. So, let's see how I do with those. And then my two SS uh, magazines at home. They should be fine. Uh, right. Oh, no, there are no magazines up here. So this is it. Okay. Oh, they turned the machines around. Jesus. Okay, guys. So it's the afternoon. The kids are out of school, but the twins are off to Kumon. Well, Marcus is here with me. And Amar's still at daycare. I'm gonna pick him up in a couple of minutes. I am finishing up. Oh, let me pause this. Just finished completing my uh, uh, vision board. Now I'm about to glue it down. The composition. Super happy with it. Took a Skillshare class. I loved it. This class was amazing. This is how I'm doing my vision boards from here on out. I don't know why I look so exhausted looking. But anyways, about to glue this down, knock this out. And go get my baby. Oh, I gotta hurry up. All right, bye. What's 
good family. I just uh, dropped off Amar and now I'm on my way. I'm actually on my way to this uh, particular CVS location. Um, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not that far out, but a lot of people apparently don't know about this CVS because it's always got everything that all the other ones don't have. Anyway, I'm going out there to see they have, what is this thing telling me? Shut up. They have uh, at home testing uh, COVID kits um, and we have quite a bit to get because of my birthday party. We're doing uh, COVID testing for everybody that's coming to the uh, party. So we need quite a few kits. Um, and I don't know if it's the same for y'all, where y'all, wherever y'all at, but I know for us out here, there's been a shortage because people's been getting these things like crazy, which is a good thing, I guess. Everybody wants to get, make sure whoever they're around is safe and their family's safe. So anyway, anybody that's coming to my party, I'm not trying to have my party be a uh, super spreader event. So <laughs> I'm, uh, me and Angel, anytime we think of, or think of, a time where we got time or we pass the CVS or Walgreens we always just stop through to see if they have any tests um, so I know this particular location they usually have them and I checked their website and it says they do have some in stock so I'm going to get those then I'm gonna run back I need to go to Lowe's got a little project that I want I don't know if I'm gonna do it I'm gonna have somebody do it basically our bathroom door I hate it because we don't have one when you walk in our room you literally see the entire room and then you can see directly into the bathroom and there's mirrors in the bathroom so as soon as you look in the bathroom you can see the reflection and you can see inside the shower and it feels like you have no freaking privacy granted ain't nobody in there but me and angel but i still like to be concealed when i'm taking a shower i don't like how it feels it feels way too open so anyway and right now it's just a big opening there is like a doorway there but there's no opening or a frame for a door so try to figure out something for that and I think I have a pretty good idea on how to get some like French style what they call it, French doors yeah two doors basically that'll open up so I'm gonna look into that and then uh I don't know we might I think we got some other stuff to do today I think I'm supposed to meet Angel she went to the uh where she go to the uh dermatologist but I'm gonna get that done I think I'm on fast today need to Angel made some I thought they were I thought it was fish apparently it was cheese and I wasn't happy about that I don't like putting cheese in my body anyway it was way off subject I'll holler back at y'all in a second <laughs> y'all can't even see me what's up you guys I'm at my dermatologist's office I'm about to get a facial I haven't had a facial in 20 years so I am super excited <sighs> hopefully it'll go well let's see Hi. All right, so Tyler is doing my facials. I'm getting a genial facial. Like I said, it has been 20 years, at least, since I've had a facial. So this one, we just gonna see. Where should I put my purse, is the question. I guess I'm just gonna have to put it on the floor. It'll be all right. All right, here we go. I'll let y'all know. How it goes, if I'm able to record, I will. I'm excited. Onto your skin surface, mm -hmm. which then creates oxygen to be de released directly into your bloodstream. So it's like a cream? Or a I put a primer on that's gonna help disintegrate the pot onto your skin. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna create the thousands of CO2 bubbles onto your skin surface, which is gonna help to create the oxygen to be released directly into your bloodstream, which is gonna help overall your skin texture and tone and your firmness of your skin as well. Okay. This might be a little funny.
so my facial went great um actually it's been a few hours since i actually had the facial i um am now picking up some lunch for marcus and i uh i don't like how that this is gonna be terrible getting out of the spot um from this jamaican restaurant i'm just getting me some chicken and some vegetables getting him rice and peas and chicken and vegetables so um there's also this hair store that i'm kind of thinking about going in i don't think i need anything i did recently try this cream on my hair that i really liked it's not on here now but i'm going to twist up my hair and if i see it i might get it product junkie this is what you go through in la you have to not hit people because they walk down the street like a car. Jesus. Fam, it has been a long day. So let me see, the last time I talked to y'all, I was going to CVS. I ended up going to three CVS's and one Walgreens. And I was able to get one COVID test that we probably won't use because you have to download the freaking app just to get your results. I'm not doing all that and it's only one test in the box and it costs like 40 some dollars out here average test of a home covid uh, kit test is like 15 dollars uh let me see what else i do i did that i went to lowe's i told y'all about that I'm going to get the um, looking for the door so i got to get the rest of the measurements and i might end up going with them or i might just i don't know i might do it myself or reach out to somebody um to see what they can come up with and then once i came back home did some stuff here and then i ended up going back out went and uh found and i went to admit to take y'all with me on that whole journey i went to find a tuxedo jacket um for my birthday party uh, so i ended up finding that and that's gonna get tailored so i can go pick it up on sunday then i came back here hold on what else i do i went to donate some stuff it's been a long day Went to donate some stuff. I went somewhere else and I came back here, uh, worked out, did stuff with the kids, put out in the bed. Now, uh, Angel and Quinn is actually up in our closet because uh, she's helping Angel either organize or style some stuff. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, no, she's finding stuff for crafts and cocktails. That's what it is. Uh, outfits for that. So she's styling up for that. But anyway, fam, yeah, I done worked out on an eight. Now I'm sitting here relaxing. Uh, and this wind is ridiculous up here. Um, I don't. I had took me a couple of COVID tests to make sure I wasn't uh, coming down because I can't. My birthday next week, and I'd be damned if I might let that happen. Anyway, uh, I'm tired. I went on them to get finished so I can go up there, take a shower, and get in the bed. But it's been the day. It's been a long one. I holler back at y'all, fam. Bad chick.